Some of these actors would go on to appear in unimaginable rehashes of Bruce Lee. Cla- Cla- Bruce Lee. But that, 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 Take two. Often, uh, those who starred alongside the real Bruce, uh, such as Bo Young, Sam Kun, Jack Chan, uh, Daniel Osanto and Bob Wall, also appeared in Bruce Plotation films as well. And, but you never knew the calibre you were going to get because the quality of the films varied so wildly. But the genre does have its fans. Um, Quentin Tantino uh, has said that he actually prefers Bruce Plotation to the, to the real thing. Uh, so with that in mind, it's <laughs> really huge, really. Um, just to give you how much of an exploitation movie this is, it starts off with Bruce Lee, the actual Bruce Lee. No, no, Bruce Lee. L- oh, the actual Li Bruce Lee. Li Bruce Lee. All oh, right, okay. Talking to his old friend, Bruce Lee. The actual Bruce Lee. Yeah. On the set of one of his films, it looks like it's Enter the Dragon. Although they're not actually using footage of the real Bruce Lee, it's just another blow that they've just got to just sit there and put a. Are they filming the other guy from behind? Uh, well, they, they kind of sort of got them side by side, but one of them's got like a massive pair of sunglasses on. You know, <laughs> it's a good job that Bruce Lee back in the day used to wear these massive sunglasses that covered most of his face. Well, this is true. Because otherwise, you know, most of these Bruce Plantation movies wouldn't have, wouldn't have picked off. <laughs> <laughs> What's funny is that um, the guy who does the voice of uh, the, the dubbed voice of Popeye doesn't sound anything like Popeye, but the guy who does the dubbed voice of uh, that Tuishi, the, the blind Japanese swordsman, actually sounds more like Popeye, Popeye. than the guy who's doing the voice of Popeye. Despite all this, you, you could say that this film has been done with love, um, as evidenced by the dedication at the start to the millions who love Bruce Lee. You know, you could say there's a hidden meaning behind all this. Bruce Lee, seen as this immortal hero, fighting off the biggest icons from Western pop culture of the 70s in what could be seen as a satirical assault on the West that continuously rejected having an Asian leading man for so long. <laughs> but. The overall execution is so absurd and over the top that having such a meaningful message just gets completely lost in translation. I was about to say, I think you're thinking far, far too much of it. <laughs> there. I, it I, and applying logic to the illogical, Captain. It, it's possible I may be giving this more thought than what the filmmakers <laughs> did. From there, uh, we go to the 1980s and one of the daftest and most ridu- ridiculous blue top- Bruce Boitation films that earns its place on this list, though audacity, audacity and then at the back of the start that game because I'm just so high. Cool. Right. So, right. yeah. I mean, you could. You, I mean, you, you must be delighted to see that your mate Bolo Young popped up as many oh. times as what he did, you know. I, he obviously needed the work. Yeah, yeah, which is strange. But you never had Bolo Young against Bruce Lee in, in Enter the Dragon. It was no. teased upon. Oh, right, I, you know. You get Mr. No. Han saying, right, Bolo's going to fight um, Mr. Lee. And, no, it was John Saxon that ended up fighting Bolo. Mm. And then, and, and sort of in the in the kind of like the final climactic battle of Enter the Dragon and what have you, they, they, even though they're sort of there and everybody's fighting and what have you, they don't actually cross each other. Right? They don't have much of an interaction. No, they no, don't. No. But in Bruce Ploitation, every opportunity they got to have Bruce against Bolo, they threw it in there. You know, even if they had to like basically cut and paste it from another film and stick it in there. Yeah. I mean, Enter the Game of Death has about three Bruce versus Polo fight scenes, one of which they've just spliced in from somewhere else. It's, it's, it's so you know, overkill, they noticed there was a gap definitely there. Overkill. So it's like, right, we're having that. There we go. <laughs> do, do you think he was the first person to speed that? Yeah, we're gonna do a, we're gonna do another Bruce Plotation film. Right, get Bolo. Where's get, Bolo's get, number? Get Bolo. Get Bolo's number. Well, that's what people turn up that have been in with Bruce. Like you got guys like Wang Jiang Lee popping in there, you know, who's been in like loads of loads of stuff, you know. Um, you know, for like Game of Death, they got in Dan in the Santo, they have got in uh, Bob Wall. Um, they got some, they got some yeah. talent in there. They got some you know? people involved. I mean, now, the guy who. The guy I who, bet you any money though they didn't tell them what they were doing. Probably not, no, no. Um, I, I think in, in, in the case, uh, a lot of them probably didn't care, you know, the, the, you know, the money was, you know, reasonable. reasonable. I mean, look at Richard Harrison, you know, he was doing Gladiator and Cowboy movies and the money dried up and 
It's like, oh yeah, we've uh, we've got this film for you. I, I imagine Richard Harrison appeared in stuff like Challenge of the Tiger, and I thought, oh, it's all right. This I get to make out with uh, beautiful um, beautiful Asian women and what have you. And then he's play creed, topless tennis. Yeah, play topless tennis, and then eventually that sort of died down a bit to the point where he said, uh, oh yeah, go on now, I made a couple of films with you, Godfrey, and uh, <laughs> it just went to shit. Yeah, and yeah, we all know how that ended. Yeah. Right? I suppose now, so now with, um, with films that kind of you vote Bruce Lee, um, it, it's now part of a, a you know a, a nice homage to Bruce Lee. So, so for example, um, Quentin Santino, um, we mentioned in the main review, is yeah, like Bruce Lee. If you have a look at Kill Bill, Kill Bill Volume One, Uma Thurman's dressed up in a Game of Death style. Yep. Um, Stephen Charles, uh, uh, please, and, and go out and see Stephen Charles Shale in soccer. Shale in soccer is absolutely insane. Yeah. One um, of the characters in, in Shale in soccer, the goalkeeper, he looks like Bruce Lee. He's yeah. wearing a Bruce Lee, yeah. Bruce Lee Jackson. <laughs> um, and, and Stephen Charles is something that 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 is invoking Bruce Lee. Yes. The right way. The man that inherited. They went that way. They went that way. We are in a bar. It's very noisy. Yeah. It's full of young people playing beer pong. What happened here? We're, we're, by the way, we're not playing beer pong. Fuck that. <laughs> we're too old for that. I'm, I'm here to to drink the beer, not not play pong with it. Absolutely. We're too old for that, and we're too responsible. Oh, someone thinks I'm a sheepdog. <laughs> Get down, chef. Um, Try doing that in your ass, <laughs> smelly bastard. Anyway, the um, next episode. <laughs> oh, we're going to get beaten up. Yeah, we are. Um, the next episode, we'll go on to. Actually, to, to be fair, we're not going to get beaten up. I'm, I, I could take him. <laughs> seriously, I'll, I'll, I'll pull my nunchucks out of my bag. Yeah, and, I, um, I, I, are you seriously nunchucks? Yes. Okay, um, just checking. <laughs>